Hey, what is going on guys? So I'm not gonna actually toss these kits up in the air because they're on loan, but today we're gonna be taking a look at the first of two Gundam base exclusive kits here. This is the Goof Flight type here. This is the real type or the, yeah, 21st century real type color version of that. And then we also got the 21st century real type color version of the HG Gundam Mark II, which we'll be taking a look at the next video. But yeah, these are both on loan to me from our good friend of the channel, Mike Rinaldi at Rinaldi Studio Press. Thank you so much, Mike, for letting me build these and review them, share them with the world before sending these back to Mike. So let's go ahead and start off the video today here with the Goof Flight Type. So let's just first take a moment to admire this beautiful artwork style here on the front. Really nice in this vertical styling here. Very reminiscent, obviously, of the old 80s kits with the 21st century real type color twist to the classic goof flight type there from 8th MS team. Very cool. On the ends of the box there, you got kind of the same thing. 21st century real type version, the Gundam base logo over there. And on this side of the box, there's a little bit of info here about the Gundam base. What is the Gundam base? There's some info there in Japanese and in English. Some photos of the main Gundam base there in Tokyo. And and on the opposite side of the box, we got some images here about the markings and decals, action posts. So I have already reviewed the original version of this. If you guys have not seen that review, I have uh, already done the review. So in this review, we'll basically just kind of be giving you a showcase of what the kit looks like all built up and everything. Because as far as like a full on review, I've already did go on through all of that. The standard 8th MS Team version of this came out as a premium Bandai exclusive. The Gundam Base version is just a recolor and with some beautiful water slide decals included as well. So. We go down to the bottom here. We've got kind of two parts of the manual. This is just the assembly guide, which is just the goof flight type. And so this would be just from the regular original P Bandai version. There's the parts list. We got all the instructions. The color guide is here for that, all the instructions. And now this added part here, uh, for this particular version of the kit is just basically the decal guide. So there's a decal guide, a color guide down here at the bottom for you guys. And then, uh, well, we have a stand included as well, which is very nice. So you have that. And I guess a small adjustment to the instructions here for step two for the heads. So just make sure you pay close attention to that. So here's a closer look at those water slide decals. And interestingly, there are no other stickers included with this. I expected there to be a set of stickers and water slides, kind of like how they do in their Macross kits. They'll give you like the same set, both in sticker version and water slide version. But nope, it's just water slides. So that's cool. PC001 here for our polycaps in gray. And then quite the interesting color here for our BA0 base here is in like a very light blue clear color. Interesting. And that's only the start of the interesting colors here with this kit as here on the A-Runner we have a couple parts there like kind of in black basically for the vent details and then some metallic kind of dark brown kind of color here for some of these bits. Runner A2 has some dark green down here and then some molded silver up here. It's kind of like a bluish silver color there. And honestly it looks kind of weird but we'll see how it looks on the finished kit. And then Runner A3 has some more of that molded silver, some more of that dark green, one clear orange piece over here and then some light blue up here for the softer plastic for the piping bits on the kit. And we got some more of that light blue color here on runners B1 and B2. These are from the original Goof Custom Kit. Runner C is in this darker molded silver, kind of like high gloss, kind of metallic color here. Very interesting gunmetal sort of color. Runner D1, also in a kind of molded gunmetal, is just the ammo belt for the Gatling gun. Runner E, we've got two of these, just some more joint pieces in that molded silver. And then runners F1 and F2 are some more new parts for the Goof Flight type. We're once again, back to that light blue color, which is going to be the main color for our armor. So there you have it, guys. Looks like a very interesting color scheme here for this Goof Flight type. But I love the Goof Flight type design. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get it all built up and see how it looks. All right, guys, so here is how the kit looks all built up. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to keep the review portion of this fairly short because I've already done the review for this before. If you want the full in-depth review for this kit, you can go back and check out the review of the original P Bandai version, which is the 8th MS Team version. With this being just a color swap of that kit and not coming with any new or different parts, we'll just focus on the looks of the kit as that's the kind of primary thing with this. And the kit, of course, just stylistically, has a very unique color scheme to it. Now, the real type color scheming on some of these uh, When Your War kits some of them are very cool, very MSV styling. This one is not necessarily one of my favorite color schemes that I've seen out of like the real type color line or line of designs anyway, but it's still a very cool kit regardless. So let's go ahead and check it out. 
So the first thing you'll notice about this is that without the foil stickers included, one thing you're missing is the mono eye, unless you want to use the water slide decal for that or paint it, so you will have to do something about that. And for its accessories, basically everything is here on the kit. Obviously you have the big massive Gatling gun, You've got the sword which is stored up in the shield there that looks very nice. You can also remove the Gatling gun and just have just the machine gun which is just on the side of the hand there. And then we've just got some option parts for the hands so you can see on the kit now I've got the holding hand and the closed fist over here. For the right side, aside from the closed fist, you also have another holding hand there for the sword and an open hand here for effect. And on the left side, you also have a closed fist if for whatever reason you didn't want to use the Gatling gun with this arm. Other than that, here is a quick size comparison what this looks like next to your standard 144 scale HG Gundam. As you can see, it does add quite a bit of height and certainly a lot of girth to that with those big massive chunky legs, so it's going to be a fairly good size kit. So then getting right on into trying out some action poses with this, getting up on action base is pretty essential. The fact that it includes an action base is very nice. That's not what I'm using in this particular video. I'm just using a just different standard action base. But you do have the action base included, which is nice, considering that it is a flight type mobile suit by name. It does make sense that that's included. And as for the kit itself, it's very nice. It's got really nice articulation. Obviously those big chunky legs are going to be pretty heavy, but you don't really have any weight issues with those. This kit is based off of the HGUC Goof Custom, which is a fantastic kit if you guys never built that. I highly recommend it. There's a fair amount of external detail on there. It's not like super loaded up with a bunch of detail, but as far as HGs go, it's pretty standard, if not a little bit better than normal. So I feel like that's pretty nice as far as exterior details go. And it overall is very solid. With a big, massive, heavy weapon on the arm, you might think that that could also cause you some weight issues, but it really doesn't. So the shoulders are strong enough and the arm's strong enough to be able to hold up that gun without any worries about weight issues with that. Obviously, the sword is not going to give you any issues. So overall, very nice kit, very solid. And if you missed out on the premium Bandai version or you just prefer this color scheme on the Goof Light type, then I would definitely say to check this kit out. It's not one that I think is ever going to be available in any sort of like standard way. You're going to have to either get the P Bandai version or the Gundam Base exclusive version here. So unfortunately it is going to be an exclusive kit, but it is one that I highly recommend to you guys if you're fans of the Goof or 8th MS team or just HGUC kits in general. It's a definitely a very nice one. So if you can find it at a decent price, I would highly recommend you guys to check it out. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. Again, thank you to Yes to Gundam Store, as always, for making all these videos possible. And this video is specifically made possible uh, by Mike Rinaldi. So thank you, Mike, for letting me borrow the kit and share it with everyone here today. For the next video, we'll be taking a look at the 21st Century Real Type Color version of the HGUC Gundam Mark II. So if you're looking forward to that, make sure you check out that video coming up next. And as always, guys, thank you so much for your support. Liking the video, commenting, subscribing, that's all greatly appreciated as well. It helps out a lot. Until next time, I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.